think asking me my body count is the quickest way to talk yourself off some country. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. Because I absolutely am not giving it to you right. after you ask it. You don't find that suspicious. And the, the this this weird obsession with having a low number doesn't make sense to me. Because, like I said before, at the end of the day, do you want a surgeon who's only done one surgery? Nope. No, you don't. You want a surgeon with experience. Yes or no? Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you? Dumb. Like, medically speaking. So, when you ask these women what's their body count, you're looking for someone who has a low one, and then all you're going to do is run back and tell your homies about how she can't suck and arch your back, how she can't do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, yeah. Why? When you can have a woman who knows what she's doing is going to be able to please you. You just don't get it, do you? You don't. Can I have some advice? Sure. Why do you think I only get rejected by ugly girls? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, do you want to go out sometime? The shit's chess. It ain't checkers. Oh, whoops. Oh, I dropped... My monster condom that I use for my magnum dong. My man. <laughs> Did you know that the number one key to a happy long face piece of shit? Wow, man. Uh... Damn. You think she won't leave you for that buff dude? Promise you, bro, she will. You think she won't leave you for that guy that makes a little bit more money? Promise you. You think she won't leave you for that guy that doesn't have a grip on his alcohol and his drug consumption? Promise you. She will leave you. She will love you until she finds a better option. That's the game, bro. The game sucks. It's hard. Nobody said it was easy. It is unfair. So you would best do everything you can in a moral way to create an unfair advantage for yourself. Hey, what up, folks? Thanks for watching. It's Wednesday. We're getting over the hump here, so I hope your week is going well. Now, this first clip that we're going to get into, it's a little bit longer. It's about a minute and a half, but tell me it's not a great example of how women are never satisfied and, and just how selfish they can really be these days. Look, let's get right into it. Welcome to Mankind. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything? He didn't do anything wrong or in life? <laughs> in life. In life? Did you not have a job the entire time you guys were together? He did. He did? He did. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! He worked in the ER also, you broke up with a hero? <laughs> so how did he not do anything if he, if he worked in the ER? Well, I, I guess aside from work, if he didn't work, You sound so dumb right now. Aside from work, he didn't do anything? <laughs> he was saving lives! <laughs> So you wanted him to do more with his life after the ER? Yeah. Yes? Of course. How selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. What do you do? Oh, Lord. You work for American Airlines? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> the audacity! <laughs> to be like, oh, what have you been doing? Saving lives all day? Yeah, what have you been doing? Peanuts? Peanuts? <laughs> Can you put your seat back up this much? This? <laughs> oh, it's funny, cause it's true. This is why there's always two sides to every story. <laughs> Because in the beginning, you guys were like, yeah, he's going to date a low life. And then you were like, oh, he's a really good guy. You are a smelly pirate hooker. Why don't you go back to your home on Whore Island? Now, if she would have said, he doesn't spend enough time with me, that would have made sense. I would have understood that. But the fact that she says he's not doing anything with his life, he doesn't do anything, a fucking ER doctor? I it just shows that she doesn't give a fuck about him. All she wanted was her own hot girl summer the rest of her life. She wanted him to spend money on her on vacations, on fancy restaurants, and it didn't turn out the way that she wanted. I mean, the audacity, just like he said. I, look, this is exactly why so many men are walking away. I, don't ever let this type of woman think that she can get whatever she wants just because of what she has between her legs. Stay strong, gentlemen. I have an ATM between my legs and I just, I'm just using it. All I gotta do is Put my card in, and that's it. And put the pin number, and boom, money just comes right out. Oh, 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 oh. this one, she's a keeper. 
she belongs to the streets. Hey, thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video so far. Just your quick daily reminder to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. It all helps. It's super easy. Let's get back to the video. What are you doing? <coughs> now you know what it feels like. You're sick. This is a betrayal on levels that no one's ever seen. Want to know how to pleasure a woman? Nope. Want to see a wheelie? <laughs> Nice. Pro marriage tip. Go to the store and buy your wife a card. A get better soon card. Not because she's sick or not well. Just because you know she can get better. Get better at what? So much. Are you kidding me right now? Just get better, Jane. He called. Who cares? Who cares, man? Who cares, man? Who cares? Today? Today. Today. Smash. Mind your damn motherfucking business, bitch! Say hypothetically you're eating someone's and they fart, are you guys gonna keep going? Now yeah, that's fucked up. Hypothetically, if someone was to gas me at a backyard dinner, first you slap the cheeks because that's rude. Second, that's a do not pass go, do not collect $200, go straight to jail. We're flipping spots, you're munching on my patio furniture, and then I'll decide on whether or not I'm gonna hit you with payback. If it's a first offense, I'll let it slide, but fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you, and you're gonna get it. You don't have to take shit from anyone. If you can walk away with one thing from this podcast, every relationship, 90% of the communication is non-verbal. So stop talking, it's fucking annoying, and like rub his back. <laughs> Just comfort him, you don't even have to talk, and he'll love you more if you don't talk. We literally don't give a fuck about your status level, that's why we forget. How many times did you forget what she does for a living, you ask again, and again, you're just staring at tits? Just soothe your man. Do something that the mistress is doing. Copy the girl who's like taking your man from you. You know what I mean? Learn this fucking game. Bro, copy the woman who's trying to steal your man. I, I mean, look, that's not bad advice. What can I say? This is another gem from Zerka. You know, stop trying to do too much. Shut up and rub his back. It's good advice. And yo, if you're out there looking, just in case you're a little discouraged, this is a little reminder that there are, in fact, decent women out there. This is one thing that I love about my wife. Every day I get off work, I come home to this, y'all. Every single day. All right, y'all. Let's see. I'm about to see what she... If she did it or not today, yo, but I'm pretty sure she did. She do it every day. She do it every day. She do it every day, y'all. All right, y'all, so this is the treatment you get, right? You be a good husband, your wife gonna take care of you, y'all. This is how my wife do me every single day. This is something that she don't have to do. This is what I get every day. I get this treatment every single day I get off work. She do this for me every day. That's one of the reasons why I love my wife a lot. I must go to America to protect her. Attention all men. If your girlfriend isn't doing these three things for you, you might need to leave her for me. She should be cooking for you, cleaning for you, and most importantly, taking it in the ass. I like this one. Is Google a man or a woman? <laughs> a woman. Because it never lets you finish a sentence without making a suggestion. <laughs> I'm wondering why this guy is in chess with this girl, and then I think it's pretty refreshing seeing something of the leg day that is a couple, but then, very smart my guy. So, Hey look, whatever motivates you, right? Whatever gets you up off your ass and into the gym, or whatever it is you do to stay fit and healthy. Now this is your daily reminder, because that is the easiest way to give yourself a one-up in life. You're gonna, you're gonna walk different you're gonna feel better you're gonna have that extra little bit of confidence and sometimes you really need that extra bit of confidence just to get you through those shitty days that and finding happiness in the little things okay just open it just open it <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up and he lived happily ever after to the end of his days Go out there and become the type of person that when your feet touch the ground in the morning, the devil says, Oh shit, he's up again.